Hello, today I'd like to explain how to use OpenAI's API for image generation, also known as um, Dolly. So their application Dolly uses the same API to generate images. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to integrate this into a Node app and how to use it throughout your application for whatever, uh, whatever you want to use it for. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and create an API key from OpenAI. So I'm gonna head over to the browser here and go up into the search bar and search openai.com slash API, like so, and log in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Google, so I'll be back once I'm logged in. Great, so I'm now logged in here, and I'm gonna head up to the personal menu in the very top right corner of your screen, and go ahead and click that, and go to view API keys. And once you're here at view API keys, you can see different API keys that you've already created if you have any, but if you don't, go ahead and create a new secret key and do not share this secret key with anybody. The reason I'm sharing this secret key on the video is because I'm going to delete the secret key right after the video is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and don't lose this because you only get to see it once. So now we'll go back over to Visual Studio Code here and I'm going to go ahead and start a new uh, a new npm app here. So I'm going to say yarn init and I'm going to go ahead and skip through all this. We don't need any of that. Perfect. So now we have a package JSON and I'm going to start a new file which is index.js and inside this index.js I'm going to go ahead and comment and leave a uh, my secret key there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to import the open AI API and configuration variables from um, from OpenAI, but first we have to install the OpenAI package into our Node app here. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and run yarn add or npm install, whichever you prefer, and then OpenAI, all lowercase, just like so. So now that that's installed, I can go ahead and import those into our app here. So what you do is you write const, and then inside of brackets, I'm gonna go ahead and import configuration, like so, and I'm going to import Open, oh, I spelled configuration wrong. Configuration and open AI API, like so. And I'm going to close that bracket from require. And it, GitHub Copilot here is suggesting open AI dot dash API, which is wrong. You're actually going to just import it from open AI, like so. Great. So now we have these two variables, configuration and open AI API, imported from open AI. I'm going to go ahead and save that and go down to the next line. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new OpenAI configuration. To do that, I'm going to go const config, so short for configuration, and do a new instance of a configuration that we had just imported. And we're going to pass through an object for the, uh, the options here. The one option we're actually going to set is going to be API key, like so. So it is camel case here. And we're gonna set this to a string, which is that API key that we just created. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that down here and delete that comment now that we no longer need it. And inside the source code, which will be in the description below, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this key with a filler variable, which will just be like your API key. Uh, great, so now you can go ahead and create a new OpenAI instance. So I can do const OpenAI, and it's equal to new open AI API that we again imported above and feed through config for the options there, that config configuration we just made. Fantastic, so now you have an AP, open API uh, instance in your Node app. Now the next part is super simple. All we're gonna do is we're going to run a call for the image generation. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the following variables. Um, so we're gonna set prompt, which again, you can just pass through the function or uh, set as a variable throughout the rest of your app and pass through. But just for display sake here, I'm gonna set them into three variables. We're gonna have a prompt, and we'll set that here in a second. We'll come up with something. And then we're going to have const number of images. So this is how many images you actually want to be generated. And we're just gonna generate one for now. And you can have anywhere from one to 10 images uh, generated per API call. And then the last one that we're gonna set is going to be the size of the image. And we'll go ahead and do image size. And I'm gonna set this to 1024 by 1024. So this is pixels, and you're just gonna feed it through as a string by the, I think it's width and then height, but it could be the other way around. 
But this is how you're going to set the image size here. And then the next thing that we're going to do is actually make the call. So we're going to come down and use this open AI, um, the instance, and the function is going to be create image. That is, that's a function uh, property of the open AI instance. And we're going to go ahead and add our parentheses. And we're not, at, so um, in the documentation, it's a little bit uh, confusing for, uh, which I'll leave a link to their image generation documentation below. Um, but we're actually not going to feed through as parameters as they do in the image uh, in the image generation documentation, but rather as an object. So we're going to feed an object through, and first of key value is going to be prompt, and you're going to set the prompt as the value there. Or again, you can just feed a string through here. The next one is going to be in, which in is going to be the number of images. And we're going to set that equal to the number of images variable that we have set previous, previously up here. And then the last one is going to be size, and we're going to set that equal to image size, just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead, and this is an async, an async call here. So you can put this inside of an asynchronous function and await the result. Um, or you can use a promise, or so this is a promise, it returns a promise. So then you can use dot then. Um, any way that you want to get the result of a promise, there's many ways to do it in JavaScript. But I'm going to use dot then uh, just for the ease of this of this uh, display here. So we're going to do dot then, and we're going to feed through the data function or the data value here that's going to be returned from this call. And inside of this dot then function, what we're going to do is we're actually going to console log the data so we can get the URL that it's going to return, but there's actually a few layers deep into the return data that we have to go. So you have to go data, dot data, dot data to see the actual return URL. And again, you can play around with the different levels of data here and the different information they provide back to you um, and use whatever you want to use. But this is how we're going to get directly to the URL here. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I should just be able to run this. Um, actually, we need to set a prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, a sketch. A sketch of um, a cat playing basketball and this might not come out super well because it's an odd prompt but I'm going to go ahead and run node.js now that I've saved that node index.js and it's going to take a second here to generate the image and return me the URL and there's the URL for the image so I'm going to go ahead and copy this if I can copy that there we go I'm going to head back to the URL or the browser here and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and we'll see what we get. There is a sketch of a cat playing basketball. Again, the prompt was a bit odd, so it wasn't the best, uh, wasn't the best image that was generated. But you can see how this could be super useful for your application, um, whatever you may need to use it for. Uh, so I actually this this uh, image generation API has some other options that you can do variations of images. So you can put your own image into it, and it will create variations of it. And they also have edit capabilities. So again, you can put your own uh, your own image into there, and then unprompt of how you want the image edited, and it will do that for you. I can do different videos showing how to use either of these if it would be helpful. So if that's what you would like to see, leave a comment below. And I also have a video already on text generation. So this is the Chat GPT functionality. Um, and so if you are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. If this video helped, please leave a like and subscribe.